Well, it's a pretty exciting event, really, if you look at the, the, the big picture. Uh, African Bible College, Jack and Nell Chin Chin, started that campus back in 1977 at the one in Liberia. It was the first campus for African Bible College, and it was functioning well there until 1990 when the country uh, declined into a civil war. Essentially, there was a, a crazy army sergeant and this band of troops uh, attacked the presidential palace there, uh, killed everybody in sight, and from that point on, uh, from 1990 up to just short of 2005, the country's been in revolution. Uh, Jack and Nell went back there to visit and to get things going for the reconstruction of African Bible College there. Uh, working with Samaritan's Purse and four churches, they hope to get everything under control enough that the building's built and supplies in to start the first class, the first uh, class again. And next year they'll add another freshman class and then have two classes. So in the next four years from now, everything should be back up and running with all the buildings complete. They totally round up what's needed for a full college campus. Uh, our part is to essentially uh, refurbish a dormitory, uh, one of the men's dormitories. They're working on two to get ready for the f upcoming freshman class. Uh, our job uh, is we loaded up a, a container full of uh, bunk beds, uh, electrical supplies, plumbing supplies, uh, desks, uh, and closets, these portable closets and with a lot of paint and I throw all that stuff together. We're going to hang a ceiling, do tile work, uh, paint, uh, do electrical and plumbing and to get everything from that point on. Well this is a challenge. If you ever try and organize something, uh, even if it's tough enough to get together stuff to go to the beach for a weekend, all the hoops you got to go through with government forms, uh, shipping companies, uh, we really were blessed by uh, Firestone Natural Rubber Company uh, gave us uh, passage on a, a ship of theirs to get the container over, which saved us about $6,000. But we found six uh, brave, stout-hearted folks uh, who are going to go. There's, uh, there's three from Grace Church, Charlie Flowers, uh, Evan Beecham, and myself, and we have three other for the community, if you know Greg Birch, uh, uh, George Grumbles, and uh, uh, Marty Brock are all going to go. Some of the main prayer requests, the one that I'm most anxious about, to go to Liberia you have to have a visa. In order to get a visa, you have to mail your passport and some documentation up to the Liberian Embassy in Washington, D.C. So I pray that, that uh, all that stuff would come back to us and we would get our visas under control. Then of course safety. Uh, this country has been in civil war for 15 years. Uh, there's still some bands floating around there with guns. So it's, it's not exactly the number one tourist uh, destination in the world right now in Liberia. Uh, it is considered to be uh, easily the poorest nation in the world having just come out of civil war. So the infrastructure there is in shambles, there are nothing but dirt roads, and it's a little bit dangerous, but if you go during the daytime and, and use your head, things normally work out well. Well, other prayers that I would tell it would just be the fact that we can go and make a difference. So everywhere you go, people are going to look at us, and I pray that indeed that uh, Christ would indeed shine through us in everything we do. Uh, everywhere we go, everybody we meet, I pray that we will be able to impact them, to show them the love of Christ. Uh, one of the neat things about the ministry of African Bible College is to raise up Christian leaders in this country. And what Liberia needs most of all, but what they need most, is Christian witness. Mm -hmm.